a thin converging length with focal length f projects the image on a screen which is at a distance from lens by distance l then the screen was drawn closer to the lens so let's say the object was here and its image was formed at this one dash which is at a distance l then the screen was brought closer to the lens by by distance delta l this distance is delta l by what distance should the object be shifted for its image to become sharp again so one thing is the the object should be shifted towards left or towards right so see this case the image is being formed on the screen which means the image is real and if image is real then for a convex lens if the object comes near the lens then the image moves away from the lens so if the image is moved towards the lens then object must also have been moved away from the lens here so object and image always move in the same direction if the images are real in case of convex lens now you can think that if the object and images are virtual then what will happen but in this case let's deal with the real images so if the screen is moved towards the lens that means the new object must also be moved away from the lens so in the same direction as the screen is moved so let's say the distance is x so we need to find what is the value of x so solve it let's solve it with two methods so first is the brute method where we'll just find out the position the final position and the initial position and just uh, find the difference so 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f so on initial screen so when the object is here at distance y so 1 by l so v is l and minus 1 by u so u is minus y is equal to 1 by f and for the final position the v is l minus delta l and u is minus of y plus x so minus of x plus y so we have two equations and two variables y and x so we just get rid of y and get our answer x is equal to 0.5 mm the other way of doing it is because we can do in this method because delta l is much less than l delta l is 18 cm which is quite small compared to 5 m so it's like uh, 25 times smaller so we can use this approximation and we'll make use of this approximation by differentiating first equation so that we get a relation between delta l and delta y and delta l is given to us and delta y is x so let's differentiate minus 1 by l square dl minus 1 by y square dy is equal to 0 so rearranging we get dy is equal to minus y square dl by l square and y from just this equation only we will get that to be fl upon l minus f so that is y so square of that dl by l square simplifying that we get this so this is our answer so we'll just put the value of dl so because l is reduced dl is minus 0.18 and this minus and this minus will become plus so our answer dy is 0.5 mm so dy is positive that means y is increased which means the object is moved away from the lens so that's why this is y so dy is positive so object is moved towards left so here we could not we, we need not have thought what exactly will happen to the where it will move and all that so we we'll just get it from the final answer itself we will get an idea of where the object is moved